known for its rich history, stunning architecture, and breathtaking natural beauty. Fort Gallagher, a popular destination for tourists seeking for an authentic taste of Provençal. The town is dotted with cobblestone streets and queen squares. Visitors can marvel at the impressive Saint Michel built. In the 12th century, the church is a stunning example of Romanesque architecture, with its stone facade and simple but elegant interior drawing visitors from all over the world. The church is dedicated to Saint Michel, who is believed to be the protector of the town. It has a rich history that spans several centuries and has played a significant role in the life of Fort Gallagher and its people. I'm heading up to see the castle ruins of Fort Gallagher. Let's go. Follow me. Runes are a fascinating testament to the town's rich history and medieval past. Located on a hill overlooking the town, the castle was once a grand fortress built in the 12th century to defend the region against invading enemies. Today, only the ruins remain, but they offer a hauntingly beautiful glimpse into the castle's former glory. Do you see this family? A couple with a son. They told me that, according to their research of family biological tree, they are the last descendant of this castle. I feel very honored to take a picture with them. The weather in early spring can be unpredictable, with occasional rain showers and a gust of wind. Post of spring are visible all around us. A delicate flower bursts through the ground. The air is filled with the sweet scent of freshly bloomed flowers, and the gentle breeze carries the sound of singing birds. The locals eagerly welcome the changing season, and the restaurants and cafes begin to open their doors to welcome visitors. Even this boissonnière is ready to welcome the gourmandisme of French people. As we leave Fort Gallagher behind, the landscape gradually transforms from snow-capped mountains to rolling hills 
dotted with colorful fields of wild flowers. The air is cool and crisp. And the gentle breeze carries the sweet scent of blooming flowers. The sky is a brilliant blue, with fluffy white clouds drifting lazily overhead. Along the way, we pass by several charming villages. Copper stone streets lined with cafes and shops, and old stone buildings with colorful shutters. We make a brief stop to view this charming chapel and the surrounding breathtaking, beautiful nature. So, with vibrant patches of purple, gold, yellow, and pinkish wild flowers dotting the landscape, the first flower blossom in early spring of Provence is a sight to behold. After the cold winter months. The land awakens to the promise of a new season, and the delicate flowers burst into bloom, spreading their sweet fragrance throughout the countryside. The first flower to bloom is often the almond blossom, with its soft pink and white petals covering the bare branches of the. Among the trees, as the sun warms the earth, soon after, the lavender fields start to show signs of life, with small buds appearing on the stems, promising the large blooms that will come later in the season. The wild flowers too start to emerge. Carpeting the fields and hillsides with hues of yellow, purple, and white, each bloom is a symbol of new beginnings and reminder of the beauty that lies ahead. So, this first flower bloom in early spring of Provence is. Joy's celebration of nature's resilience and the promise of the season to come. Driving in the countryside of Provence in early spring is a true magical experience. The view of the snow-covered Alps from a distance on a sunny day is a breathtaking sight. You gaze out over the rolling hills and valleys. The towering peaks of the Alps rise up in the distance. At the foot of the Lubihu Mountains, we find this. Magnificence of the shadow, the Ladour Lagus, is a stunning 16th-century castle located at the heart of Provence. The castle's grand facade is an impressive sight, with its tall towers and crenellated walls rising up from the surrounding landscape. The castle has been 
beautifully preserved, and visitors can still see many of the original features, including the elaborate stone carvings and the intricate tailing on the exterior. Its grandeur and elegance provide a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of this beautiful region of France.